Okay, so I mail ordered for, uh, I saw this on the internet. It is uh, supposed to be a high voltage generator from China, some tiny little thing. Advertised to produce 400,000 volts. I'm sure it can't produce 400,000 volts because that is, uh, this is not big enough to hold off that type of voltage. Uh, I'd be impressed if it did 40 kilovolts, but uh, so anyway, here's a little picture of it and a uh, high voltage generator. And uh, let's see if we can open this guy up. Just using whatever I have convenient. I broke some glass yesterday, so that seems to be what I have available. So let's unbox this guy. It's really taped up well. And these, these were pretty cheap, if I remember correctly. They weren't like maybe ten dollars or something. Oh. Okay, so here we go. Fairly decent size uh, device. And, uh... Oh, looks like it's potted. What the heck? It's not even labeled, is it? Plus or minus? I don't know. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, so here's our device. <sighs> Red and green. I'm going to assume these are the inputs because they're very close together. And, uh, G105, LG105. There's no, no explanation on what you're supposed to do with this. Uh, and there's no directions on the inside either. Okay, so that's our device. So maybe we will try to do a little bit of research and figure out exactly what we need the power of this thing with and which end is which. I assume this is the high voltage end because these leads are pretty far apart. But, like I said, this is not labeled plus or minus or anything. And green and red. Okay, I guess the red is probably positive. Let's, let's, uh, let's look into this a little bit. Okay. Okay, so the internet says that these uh, high voltage power supplies here are supposed to be powered with 3 to 6 volts. And so I happen to have a lithium uh, what are these things? A 18650. Looks almost like a double A battery, but it's a super lithium battery. And, uh, I got some, uh, some holders for these guys. So let's stick the, the battery into the holder. So we now have our lithium battery. Let's try hooking that up to this thing. This thing is a little bit scary. Let's see what happens here. Just twist the wires together, maybe. Now, oh, I need some clip leads. Let me see what I got. Okay, so I just twisted the leads on the one side together. Oh, well, look at that. This thing. Oof. Looks like that really puts out the power. Wow. I can make a pretty nice portable shocker device here. Look at that. Just a little... Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, something that could do some damage. Anyway, that's jumping for a little bit over a centimeter. So that's probably about 30 kV at least. Let me see if I can grab something, push that together, because I don't want to get shocked. Okay, so again, the black goes to the green down here, and the red goes to the red for the battery. Ooh, yeah, that's really, this thing really means... Wow, look at that. Yep. It's definitely a high voltage generator. 
Okay, so I could see, you know, you could take maybe the battery and stick it down here, make a cute little wand that you could hold in your hand and really zap people. Maybe put a, a switch on it. Maybe use it for some mad scientist experiments. We'll get our uh, batteries away from that thing because that thing means business. Okay. Okay, so um, why don't we just solder this all up so it's a complete unit. What I did is I took the battery out because I don't feel like getting shocked while I'm getting when trying to solder this thing together. And I was looking for a switch. Uh, looks like a, it's a Radio Shack switch. Remember Radio Shack? We used to have those, the good old days. Uh, I was looking for a push button, but I, I guess this will do. Toggle's good also. Depends on what your use is. So, here we go. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder, I'll solder the black to the black. Let's get some. Let's get some solder up here. We'll put these wires together. Then we'll solder that switch in, in series. And, uh, here we go. Let's just solder these guys together, I guess. Leads are kind of short. Okay. And we'll just solder this whole circuit up. And uh, we'll test it out then. And then I think maybe I'll hot glue the whole thing together and we'll see how it works. Okay, so I wrapped the wire around one of the terminals of this little switch here. And we'll just solder it. I had to strip it back a little bit because it was not behaving very well. You need enough lead to get a good solder joint on there. Okay. And uh, then we'll solder the other red one to the other side of the switch and we'll test it out, make sure it's working. Okay, so we got our switch wired up with the battery in and we'll just test it out to make sure it's going to work okay. We flip the switch up. Oh. Sure, the battery's in place. Oh, that was working a second ago. Okay, there we go. So it looks like looks like everything's working. So maybe I'll try to hot glue this thing all together. Have a portable high voltage generator. We can just flip on and off, battery powered. That'd be cool. Okay. okay, so here we have our hot glue gun. And I took the battery back out because I don't feel like getting shocked. And here's our high voltage guy. And I'm thinking about gluing these things together like that. Hot glue is pretty good, pretty reasonably strong, and uh, it's quick. And you can't ever argue with quick, can you? Anything that's quick is usually pretty good. Okay, let's stick these things together. And we'll hold it. Come on. And, uh... There. I think it's getting pretty solid. And I'd like to stick maybe the switch down the base. Let's see, how do we want to have this? Maybe have it over here so I can flip it on and off. And I believe up is going to be on. So I'll put the switch kind of toward the top up here. I don't really want to have my hands over the high voltage part too much. Let's try hot gluing the switch up there. Maybe I'll glue some of these wires down and, and I'll test it. And we'll have our high voltage device ready to do our portable experiments. You want to do lifters or whatever. Maybe I'll ta tape these wires down. Okay. Let's try putting the battery in and testing it. Okay, we just put the battery in and we'll give her a test. And it looks like our portable stun gun high voltage device is uh, all completely operational. Do that. Oh. Yeah. Good times. 
Okay, so let me tape down the wires and I think we'll be all set to go then. Anyway, I didn't find the tape, so I just glued them down. Uh, it looks very artistic, huh? Portable stun gun. Ooh, maybe I should wait till the glue completely dries. High voltage generator. I'll go test this out. Anyway, this is Dr. Jane's, and thanks. Let's get this out of here. There we go. Let's